Hello folks, this is Alex from the Timelapse Guy. In this video I'm going to show you how I edit time lapses with LR Timelapse and Lightroom 5. Before I start, a big big thank you to all of my subscribers because I reached 500 subscribers with my channel. So you're awesome, a big big thank you to all of you. I enjoy the video now and I hope you have fun. First I load the photo sequence into LR Timelapse, as you can see here. Um, I'm using the simple workflow and the program offers you a short preview on the shot here. Then I generate some keyframes, not only four, I need at least six here, because as you can see the exposure is dropping really hard here because I filmed the sunset, uh, so that's why I need some more. Save everything. The next step, just simply drag it into Lightroom. This import dialog opens and the keyframes and all the pictures get imported there. Now I tell Lightroom only to show me the keyframes. Here we got them, all the six. And now I can edit one by one. Okay, here we go with the first keyframe. The first thing I do is just to crop it to 16 to 9 because uh, that's the YouTube standard. Next thing is editing the color with these sliders here. So first I give the whole shot a little more yellow touch and uh, add a little bit more purple here but only a really slight amount. Now I change the exposure uh, to make the clouds look more threatening. So add a little bit more contrast here uh, so you can see the clouds better. I can just lower the lights there and so you can see the contrast of the, the clouds better, it looks cooler to me. With these sliders you change the depth and the white amount and the black amount. Uh, yeah, I just play with them a little bit um, and when I like the shot I just stop where I am actually. So next thing, the clarity. This is really cool, so if you just add it to maximum you can see the whole shot gets really really sharp and if you lower it, it gets a little bit yeah, blurry. I find the right amount here. Add more dynamic and more saturation, so the whole shot looks, yeah, it looks quite nice now. With the next option I add more color. So I take this one and... And I add some purple and some yellow. So the shot is yellow now and then I take this one and I add more blue so the sky becomes blue again. Okay, just put it over here so that it's okay with the horizon. Add more blue in the sky. Okay, this looks cool now. So and then I take the next one and add more more purple. So I really like this. And now I take some radial filters, this one, and put it on the point where the sun should be. And then I add more purple and more yellow so that it's a little bit like a sunshine. This filter I take to add more clarity to the clouds. So I take uh, clarity and put it high so the clouds become more visible. You can see here. Okay, now you see this is this looks really cool and if you see if you compare the, the before and after shot it's like two worlds you can see here okay the the old shot looks black and white actually now as I'm pleased with the shot I can just copy all the options here uh, okay and just paste them into the next keyframe okay um, I'm pleased with the shot so I go on to the third keyframe here. Okay, so I jump to the last keyframe and you see it's really dark and as you can see there's no descending exposure here, there's a big gap between the third and the fourth keyframe so uh, I really have to add more, more light in the fourth keyframe. Yeah, now you can see I got a nice descending exposure here. So now I can select all, save the metadata and go back to LR Timelapse. And there I can reload the shots and as you can see the keyframes jump. I do the auto transition with LR Timelapse and to flicker as well if I want. And I just have to save it and go back to Lightroom 5. Select the full sequence here. 
select all and uh, reload the metadata. So they got edited by, by Lightroom 5. I can just export them now. This takes quite a while, I just jump over it. When it's finished, uh, this export dialog in LR Timelapse opens. I just add some motion blur here and the quality is 4K and very high and now I can render it. This takes a while as well. Here we can see the finished shot and yeah, I think this looks quite beautiful. Uh, you can compare it with the old shot and it's like two worlds.